battery powered tonight. Local students who may not have real driver's licenses, but have raced on the big track at speeds of at least a mile a minute. It's a mix of physics club and small engine shop. These Watsonville students literally work the pits at the battery car races in Portland, Oregon. Tense, because it's kind of like Laguna Seca. There's so many turns that uh, the chain kept on coming off because the alignment with the tire and the engine wasn't exactly right. Now, will you pick for your size, your expertise? Um, well, not really. Pick, uh, probably my size, maybe. <laughs> the two cars here are battery powered. Students build, repair, and drive them as far as they can per charge. Oh, well, of course, electricity is all, all physics, uh, current, voltage, and, and resistance. That's the, that's the fundamentals. Um, particularly with a smaller car, uh, th those races last an hour. You have to go as far as possible. This car, called the Speedster, was donated to the club and is capable of speeds upwards of 65 miles per hour. There's, we got six batteries on here, and um, what is kind of surprising is that it, it, that's a, a golf uh, cart motor, uh -huh. and it drives it that fast. That's, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's, fun. it's just a fun thing to do after school, and it, you get to drive it. It's like your work, you get to drive your work. You know, because we're gonna build another one, so, uh, What's an idea you're gonna steal then that you like? That you like aerodynamics, you know, having the wheels covered and everything. So that that's the key. Eric moves. Now that great teacher, they do a lot of fun things there. Don't tell anybody. But we went out on the street, three miles an hour in that thing. It moves right along. But don't tell anyone. Anyway. <laughs> 